here in Indonesia, Jakarta. A city of startups, skyscrapers and never-ending traffic. It is an epicenter of history, culture and one of the fastest growing economies growing at 5.17% in 2018. With over 270 million people, labour force is one of the key enablers of Indonesia's economic growth. However, one of the most polarising and baffling statistics is the participation rate at 66.28%. Men account for 81.8%, ranking 28th in the world, while women comes in at 50.74%, ranking 107th in the world. Such discrepancies are rather acute. But why is there such a large discrepancy? Well, I'm here to meet Amelia Fazia, Senior Lecturer at Universitas Islam Negeri Syriaf Hidiatala Jakarta and I'm here to talk to her about digital empowerment of women. Previous empowerment programs mostly benefited women in urban areas. We want to create a model that helps Muslim women in rural areas through digital technology without compromising their values. Indonesia has the biggest Muslim population of any country and 45.53% of Indonesians are still residing in rural areas. Right now, I'm about to hop into a car. I'm driving all the way to the province of West Java to a district called Chanjua. West Java is one of the three provinces including South Sulawesi and West Nusa Tenggara used as case studies by Dr. Fazia. These provinces are unique provinces with more than 98% of the population being Muslims. In these areas, there are still conservative ideals, yet there is an emerging entrepreneurial potential. After traveling around four hours, I finally arrived at Chanjua, a district that has roughly 2 million people. It's nestled within the mountains, about 500 meters high, and there's a lot of economic activity, including agriculture, arts, and tourism. Despite being the rural regions of Indonesia, mobile use has permeated through the economy. Masalan saya melalui Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, WhatsApp, email, Google Business School. Adanya bah Google itu, mereka tahunya uh, dia lihat Instagram, terus ada nomor WA di Instagram, jadi pesan lewat WA. For the entrepreneurs here, technology goes beyond the means of communication. It has become the impetus for their businesses. This has been facilitated by a piloting program with students from UIN, providing resources, knowledge and marketing skills. Sadly, the Instagram of these rural users are now so much better than mine. Kalau di sabun, biasanya kalau dalam satu tahun bikin seribu batang, biasanya habis satu tahun, kadang lebih itu. Kalau sekarang, sebelum satu tahun, udah habis satu ribu. Seronge is a success story of women entrepreneurship. Through the access to e-commerce, he has taken her small offline store high up in the mountainous regions into an online marketplace. As a result, women are becoming major contributors to household income, with certain district governments highlighting that women account for up to 80% of new entrepreneurs. But beyond the economics, there are also other benefits. Ada nilai lebih dengan penggunaan ini. Kita lebih terbuka juga wawasan, lihat yang lain. Kan akhirnya kita juga lihat-lihat tuh. Kan? Uh, Alhamdulillah sih kalau keluarga mendukung sekali. Suami saya sampai bilang kalau saya lagi di rumah tuh nggak ada kegiatan. Bugi ke saung. Women are forming more progressive attitudes with more tolerant views through the promotion of trade, irrespective of cultural or religious perspectives. This results in a balancing act of nurturing family values, religious imperatives, and the changing landscape of entrepreneurial freedom. But what are the digital enablement challenges that these women face to make it sustainable? Diharapkan lah bagi para UKM gitu, gitu, gitu. sering-sering gitu mengadakan apa namanya kunjungan atau riset ke para UKM. Kolaborasi dan sinergitas antara program dari masing-masing unsur yang bisa mendukung terhadap pengembangan ekonomi di Kabupaten Cianjur. To bring a sustainable solution, we need a collaborative model that involves across a multitude of stakeholders, adopting an increased synergy of activities. This will further the aspiration for gender equality amid the growth in our religious economy. It has been recognized that the idea of sustainability cannot be done by one stakeholder. Instead, it is important to recognize the synergy of multiple stakeholders as demonstrated by the piloting program of the women entrepreneurs. It is a contribution of knowledge underpinned by UNSW, UIN and UNU, a shared vision of governance from Office of Cooperative and SMEs, Office of 
Home and Affairs, Office of Agriculture, as well as districts and provincial governments and the practicality lens of Google Apura Digital that makes the difference in this program.